I'm Jennifer from Unveiled Wife, and today we have Amy with us, who's going to share a little bit about um, who she is, what Wife After God has done for her, and then we're going to jump into some specific questions about Chapter 10. So, um, hi, Amy. Uh, can, can you share a little bit about who you are? Sure. Um, I'm a 30-year-old. Um, I work as an RN in the NICU, so I work with little bitty, itty-bitty babies. Um, I have been married for 10 years, got married very young, but that's okay. We've mm -hmm. worked it out, <laughs> have one child, um, who is almost two. So we waited a while, but we had a nice, we have a good kid now. So that's a good thing, <laughs> but that's pretty much in a nutshell what I, who I am, I guess. That's great. Well, I just wanted to thank you for being uh, with us today. And let's just jump right in. So you've already been through Wife After God, right? Um, I've been through most of Wife After God, yes. Okay. So uh, what is your overall uh, view or, you know, what, is, what, have, what has God taught you um, through going through Wife After God? Um, it's definitely helped me be reconnected to okay. God. Um, sometimes we all struggle a little bit on our paths. And so it's kind of helped me refocus myself on to what I need to be doing. So I kind of had an epiphany, I guess you could call it, uh, about uh, mid-February, and uh, your book came up on sale. So I said, okay, this sounds like something that might help out in what I was thinking of doing. Um, so yeah, it's definitely helped me get reconnected to where I need to be at, and it's kind of refocused my life to what I want my life to be. So Wow, that is just so awesome to hear. I love hearing um, you know, testimonies of what God is doing with this book, and I'm just so excited that... You have your hands on it, and uh, we're going to jump in and talk about specifically chapter 10. Um, now, this is um, all about posture. So, yeah. can you, what, was, what was one of the biggest things that stood out to you about this chapter? Um, it's definitely something I struggle with, and my husband always complains that I am having attitude or that he's sensing that I'm not being very nice or something's going on, and so... It's definitely something I struggle with a little bit, and so it kind of helped me open my eyes into what I can do other than um, how I posture myself is differently, you know, how I can make it different so that my husband doesn't view me as having an attitude or being nasty or, <laughs> in, in other words, those things that, you know, most husbands will complain about it from time to time, so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I have also had a huge struggle in this area, you know, of just keeping my flesh in control, you know, like being able to um, live out what God has called me to uh, as a wife and, and to be, you know, generous, kind, loving, and to actually show those through the way that I contort my body. And so um, how, how has uh, this chapter kind of influenced you? Like, ha have you actually seen changes already? Um, I do try. I won't say I'm perfect. I don't think anybody can actually say that. So the perfect posture I'm trying for is not necessarily always there because we are human. We do err. Um, but I do know when I think about what I'm doing when I'm upset or when I'm think or when I'm having a problem, as women do, <laughs> I it does help because it kind of de-escalates the situation a little bit faster between my husband and I. So I love that. I love that you say de-escalates de like. Mm -hmm. that's what I think of too. And um, one of the biggest things that um, I wanted to write in this chapter was correlating what, um, you know, Christ's posture looked like when he was going to the cross. So can you share a little bit about how that has uh, influenced you in your, in the way that you operate as a wife? Um, well, it's definitely something we all strive for, I think, to be that gift of love that God gave us. Um, and to be like that is, would be amazing. Um, it's all, like I said, it's always a struggle to do that, to be so self-sacrificing that you do everything for everybody else. I've, I've been there and done that, but you also need to take into account that you have your own self. Um, and the sacrifices you make aren't necessarily, um, just for yourself or for someone else. It's helping yourself in the end as well. And I think being able to see that, that you have the opportunity to help somebody else and also help yourself is something that is, is a striving thing that you need to do. So um, how do you think that this chapter is going to impact other wives? 
Um, it'll definitely open your eyes up into thinking about how you're posturing yourself in those times when you're upset and um, maybe having a conflict or needing a resolution into something. And it'll kind of help you change your posture a little bit to to be aware of what your body's doing in that time is going to help you understand why you're getting the attitude back that you're getting necessarily. Because how you posture yourself is going to necessarily rub off, even if you don't want it to. Um, it'll still make the other person feel differently about what you're doing. And you can see that when you relate to someone too, the way they're posturing, the way they're reacting to you, you're going to react back. And so you have to kind of realize that and it kind of helps you keep that focus. Yeah. And what you're actually supposed to be doing at those times. Yeah, I can, I can understand that how, uh posture is reciprocated. So if I talk to my husband a certain way, he's going to reciprocate that and talk to me that way. And then you end up in a crazy cycle and yep. yeah. Okay. So, um, you said that you're a mother, so how can you take this chapter and also apply it to the way that you posture towards your kids? Um, well, he is young, so he's not quite at the age where he understands that a little bit, but I mean, he's starting to pick it up. And so I don't want him to be negative towards people in the way he's posturing himself. And so I try to think about it, especially since he's starting the mimic phase. I try to think about what I'm doing and then <laughs> he mimics it and I don't like it. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, hold on. So I have to try to retrain that. It's it's hard to bring your kids up how you want, but I mean, they all are their own person. I'm very lucky. My son is very hilarious and funny. <laughs> he enjoys making people laugh. So it's nice. Um, and like I said, he's just starting his journey into the posturing. So it's 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 amazing that I'm going to be able to have to teach him that. Mm -hmm. But now that I've had a little bit of the Wife After God <laughs> uh, chapter on posturing, I can better able to parent him in that posturing so that he can relate better. Because I know males have a harder time relating to women and have a harder time understanding us. <laughs> so, I mean, we don't understand ourselves. So it's <laughs> it's hard for men to realize that. And so as my, I have a son, so it's going to be nice to be able to teach him that posturing is going to help and affect his relationships. Yeah, I'm also right there with my son who um, is still very young and just realizing the impact and the influence that I have as a mother to, like you said, teach them how to posture and communicate how they're feeling. And yeah, so, okay, so um, what is one thing that God has been teaching you lately or an encouragement that you would like to share with other wives in the Unveiled Wife community? Hmm. Well, like I said, I had the epiphany in mid-February, and that was basically that if I'm striving to put my life together, then I need to help myself out as well as help my husband. And so I basically turned around. I'm not the best housewife. I'm not the best you know, homemaker. And I know that I'm pretty lazy when it comes to cleaning. And so I did an epiphany into that and just started to do things slowly and get it done. And my husband actually at the end of the week when he had nothing to do on his day off was like, what do I do? So it was kind of amazing that that, that, that happened. I won't say it's, it's been easy. It's, it's always going to be a struggle for me because that's my personality, unfortunately. And I told my husband that I said, I'm trying. So at least make an effort that you know that I'm trying and trying to change who I am um, to be better for him and for my kid. So it's, it's not an easy thing though. It's it, but with God's help, everything is possible. And so that's kind of where I'm at is, okay, God, you've told me now I need to change. And so now help me do that change and help me through the change. And it's, and I've always clung to my faith in those times. So that's sort of how he's speaking to me is I'm here for you. Just rely on me and put your, you know, all of your cares and worries on me and I will help you through it all. So that is so such a beautiful testimony. And I agree with you. I think being an intentional wife is so valuable and it really does impact our marriages. Uh, well, thank you so much, Amy, for being with us today and just sharing uh, everything that you had to share. And um, I'm going to be praying for your marriage and I hope that you and your husband and your son do very well over the next, well, forever. And yeah. um, just, just thank you so much for sharing with us today. Okay. Bye. Bye.